KWPMCW, and welcome to an episode of KWPMC Insider. My name is Esmeralda Lopez, and I am the general manager for the Charter Club on the Bay in Miami, Florida. So KW asked me to share a story with you, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the variables of property management and expecting the unexpected. If you've been a manager for a little while, then you know no day in property management is the same. And everyone gets affected from the general manager to our assistant managers, to our admins, our front desk. Everyone has to get involved during an emergency and unexpected event. So it was time for us to walk the walk. Back in January, we had a power surge that took out half of our property. Immediately, we all went into emergency mode and there was an expectation from our staff to provide great service during this time. Everyone was on call 24 seven and expected to be able to respond. One of the things that I love about my team is that they were all hands on deck from the beginning. The second thing we did was we engaged a vendor who was willing to work around the clock. The third thing we did was we communicated and I want to stop here for a second to say that if you are a manager, this is your greatest asset. There's nothing like coming home and finding out you have no power, no, no AC, in Miami, no uh, cable, and all these things start to stir you up and you get really sensitive and frustrated. But what really sets a manager apart is when you're communicating and letting them know that you care about the fact that they don't have their comforts and you're putting them as a priority during this time. So communication is important. For me, I probably go a little bit overboard, but every couple of hours we would send out an email and let people know where we were with the status of the repair. So that is probably the number one thing you can do. And, and there are so many different ways to do this. You can do it by sending out a video, an e-blast, a voice blast, putting flyers under doors, leaving flyers at the front desk. The other thing is communicating with your staff, letting them know what's going on so that the message that is being distributed to the residents is the same and consistent across the board. The next communication is with your board of directors. You need to have your board of directors involved and they need to feel comforted in knowing that you are on top of this situation. So communicate with them regularly. If they're not the kind of board that is on site and getting involved with the problem, then make sure that they're aware of what's going on. The next thing, and this is a topic that I see come up as time and time again, that is insurance. When you suffer any sort of loss, you want to make sure to get as much insurance back as possible. You want to cover the cost. It makes us as a team at KW look great when you can go back to the board and say that you maximized on this bad situation and turned it around for good. So what I did, when as soon as our, we were aware of this emergency taking place, I immediately created a spreadsheet documenting every expense. And that goes down to the food that we were purchasing for the staff that was on site for the vendors and third party uh, contractors that were here. Uh, we claimed everything. We had police on site, we claimed that. We claimed overtime for our staff. And guess what guys, we got it all back. So there's no greater feeling than being able to go to the board and say, yes, we had this horrible event, we suffered a lot of damages, but guess what? Besides the deductible, you've recouped everything. It makes your team look great. So the last thing that I would say is super important is closing out your project. Once everything was back up and running, we sent out communication again and let everybody know, here's what to expect. And we turned the situation into something positive. With us, we had a switch gear that needed to be replaced. It was a project that had been delayed for a very long time. And because of this power surge, we were able to complete that project. So when we responded to residents, we didn't just announce that we had the power surge, but we announced that we took this horrible situation where they lost power and we made it so that now they have less of a likelihood to lose electricity in the future with this new panel. So turn your negatives into positives. Let this project become a catalyst for you really shining as a team and showing your board of directors and your community that you're involved, that you're engaged with them, that you make this situation a priority in your life and that you view it as a personal 
achievements to help them fulfill their process. When you're going through projects, guys, remember, again, communication is key. Your insurance, you want to make sure to maximize on what you get back and close out the project strong with follow through. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this process with you today and being part of the KWPNC Insider. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and email me. Uh, my email is esmeralda.l at kwpnc.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.